The iPad has always been an impressive piece of hardware, but iPadOS 19 is finally here to unlock what users have been hoping for. A software transformation that takes the iPad from a capable companion to a true computing powerhouse. Welcome to Technology Review. Today, we're diving deep into how iPadOS 19 is the Mac-like redesign iPad users have wanted for years. For so long, iPads have been held back by their software. Even with M-series chips, gorgeous liquid Retina XDR displays, and cutting-edge accessories like the Magic Keyboard and Apple Pencil Pro, the experience often felt restricted. You had a machine with the performance of a MacBook, but the limitations of a smartphone OS. That contradiction is finally being addressed. iPadOS 19 is not just a cosmetic overhaul. It marks a philosophical shift in how Apple sees the iPad, not just as a larger iPhone, but as a productivity-first device that can stand on its own. And what's most exciting, Apple is embracing a design language that borrows from Mac OS while staying true to what makes the iPad unique, touch-first interaction, pencil support, and modular usage. So what's changing? The first major transformation is in the apps. Apple has heard the demand for true professional software on the iPad, and with iPadOS 19, they're delivering. Instead of offering watered-down mobile alternatives, Apple is enabling full-featured apps to run natively on iPad. You're not just getting a trimmed version of Final Cut Pro. You're getting Final Cut Pro optimized for the iPad strengths. The same goes for Logic Pro, Xcode, AutoCAD, and Adobe Creative Cloud apps. These aren't just ports. They've been redesigned to embrace touch gestures, pencil inputs, and dynamic layout changes. Whether you're a video editor, a developer, a 3D modeler, or a music producer, you'll finally be able to work on your iPad like it's your main device. And Apple didn't stop with the apps. Multitasking, long seen as the iPad's Achilles heel, is being completely reimagined. Previous features like split view and slide over were functional but limiting. They lacked the flexibility and fluidity of a true windowing system. iPad OS 19 fixes this with the introduction of real, resizable, overlapping windows. It's the multitasking freedom users have been asking for. This desktop-like environment means you can arrange apps the way you want, stack them, resize them, and create dedicated workspaces. Want to have a browser and note-taking app side-by-side -side while referencing a textbook? Done. Need your file manager open next to your photo editing software? No problem. The new multitasking UI gives you control over your workspace, something that finally makes sense on a device this powerful. Another breakthrough lies in the home screen experience. It's smarter, more flexible, and finally aligned with how professionals and creators use their devices. Widgets are more powerful. App folders are more intuitive. Shortcuts are front and center. Think of it as a dashboard, where everything you need is just a tap or gesture away. Stage Manager, Apple's take on managing app groups and switching workspaces is back and better than ever. After a shaky debut, Stage Manager has been rebuilt in iPadOS 19 with stability, better app snapping, and improved transitions. It now uses smart learning to remember your workflow habits. If you always launch Safari and Notes together, the system can suggest or even automatically organize that for you. But perhaps the most desktop-like addition is what Apple is calling true dual display support. Before, plugging in an iPad to a monitor just gave you a mirrored display. Now, with iPadOS 19, connecting to an external screen gives you a second workspace, just like a Mac. You can drag files across screens, run different apps on each, and take advantage of all that extra real estate. Whether you're at a desk or in the studio, this unlocks a whole new level of productivity. And this is where Apple's new desktop mode comes into play. When your iPad is docked with a keyboard and trackpad, the interface transforms. It starts to resemble Mac OS, complete with a proper dock, desktop file organization, right-click functionality, and advanced pointer behaviors. The iPad adapts its personality depending on how you're using it, offering a dynamic interface that feels natural both for touch and traditional input methods. Importantly, 
Apple hasn't sacrificed what makes the iPad unique. Even in desktop mode, touch gestures and Apple Pencil still work perfectly. It's a seamless hybrid environment. One moment, you're typing and using trackpad gestures. The next, you're drawing or navigating with your finger. It feels intuitive, cohesive, and finally, worthy of the hardware. Let's talk about performance. iPad OS 19 will likely launch alongside the new M4 powered iPad Pros. Apple's silicon advancements mean that the software is tuned to take full advantage of the hardware. Expect smoother transitions, near instant app launches, more efficient battery usage, and better thermals. This isn't just about features, it's about speed, fluidity, and power. And iPadOS 19 delivers all of it in abundance. So, where does this leave the iPad in Apple's ecosystem? Historically, it's hovered awkwardly between the iPhone and the MacBook, but that middle ground position is fading. With iPadOS 19, the iPad finally feels like it belongs on its own tier. It's not an accessory to a Mac. It's not just a media consumption tool. It's a self-contained, powerful, creative, and productive machine. If you're a student, this could become your all-in-one learning device. Take notes with pencil, write essays on the keyboard, attend virtual classes, and manage group projects, all from one sleek device. If you're a creator, you finally have the power to edit, design, draw, and publish without needing to switch to a Mac. For professionals, this could be the ultimate travel companion. Dock at the office, go mobile at meetings, and always stay connected. Now, of course, there are still questions. Will third-party developers take full advantage of the new APIs and tools? Will all iPads support the full windowing system? How well will battery life hold up under heavy multitasking? And most critically, will Apple continue to evolve iPadOS at the same pace moving forward? One thing is certain. Apple is no longer treating the iPad as a sidekick. With iPadOS 19, it's stepping into its own role as a mobile-first, desktop-capable powerhouse, a device that bridges the gap between laptop and tablet without compromise. This isn't just an iPad update. It's a redefinition. iPadOS 19 makes it clear that the iPad is no longer a device stuck in the shadows of macOS or iOS. It's finally becoming the tool Apple always hinted it could be. Here at Technology Review, we'll be keeping a close eye on how developers respond, how performance holds up in real-world use, and how the creative community embraces this new generation of iPad computing. Because one thing's for sure, this is just the beginning of a new chapter for Apple's most versatile device. Thanks for tuning in. If you're excited about iPadOS 19 and what it means for the future of mobile computing, subscribe to Technology Review for more deep dives, reviews, and everything you need to know about the latest Apple innovations. The era of the iPad has finally arrived, and it's more powerful and more Mac-like than ever before.